Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about uh, what's new in Simbrief Symbol OFB 0.2. Then we will start first uh, with layout 2 and go back and talk uh, about layout 1. So let's go quickly over uh, what uh, the changes that I made. So first, uh, I have added the dispatch remarks when you are creating your flight plan there are a field called dispatch remarks uh, you can type in it if you type in it uh, anything it will be displayed on the flight plan and uh, there are now a new layout and you can change and toggle between them both and when you do the other will be displayed automatically. Routes, also the routes and the airport name display would be wrapped. As sometimes uh, the name of the airport or the routes are too long, so uh, there will not be enough space, so the script would uh, wrap the text. Also, I have adjusted uh, the text layout a few places and changed a few things and added also a button when you click it it will open a link in your browser to uh, the flight plan pdf file and last i have added a new folder to house all the files needed uh, by this script inside it like the image like uh, the xml files that have been created or downloaded so let's go now and uh, check out layout number two. Now the difference, the difference between uh, the last version is I have added two buttons, PDF file and layout number two. Now when I click it, it will display for me automatically the layout that I chose and it will be saved so now if I close it or close even uh, explain and open it again it will uh, open to me the, the layout that I have chosen here the PDF file button uh, it's the flight plan PDF uh, file the original one from Simbrief. If you click it, it will open. It will send a link to your browser. Uh, to your browser, and will open the PDF file. If this didn't work f uh, for you, please leave me a comment uh, with your uh, system with your system name and operating system uh, your system name. The delete file you only use it. If you want to delete this flight plan and download a new one here the font scale if you want a larger font the first line here like here the OFB2 means that this flight plan have been updated two times unit that are used in this uh, flight plan here as kilograms if you use pounds, it will be displayed as pounds. Here the time, in Zulu time, the lifetime. And uh, release. This is the release date and time. Uh, this flight plan was released on 2017. Zulu. The 30th of September 21. And this is uh, here on the left side, the name of your aircraft ICAO, the ICO, identifier of the aircraft. Uh, the ATC call sign, your ATC call sign that are mentioned in the flight plan. And the date of the trip, the date of the, of the departure, 30th of September 2021. 
the middle section here the name of the airport the identifiers of the airports uh, and the times of uh, departure and arrival like uh, the first one is the time of the taxi time the second is the time of takeoff here is the time of uh, arrival and this is the time of landing and this is the actual time that have been calculated upon the route of arrival the right section here the cruise system it's the profile speed uh, it can be the cost index if it is the cost index uh, then it will be displayed here if it is mac uh, 0.70 it will be displayed here which which was your speed it will be displayed here speed profile uh, on the second line the cruise flight level which uh, we chose and it was uh, 40,000 feet. And here the distance between the two or uh, airports, nautical miles. And the average wind uh, the trip will be like this one here, two, 254 degrees at uh, 37 knots. And last, the block fuel, the fuel that, that you need uh, for this trip. For your aircraft to fill, to fill your aircraft with. We'll go to the weight section here the payload, the zero fuel weight, takeoff weight, landing weight, the estimate, and the max. And in the middle section here, uh, the dispatch uh, remarks would be displayed here, like this is a test remark typed by me. I have typed it, so it will be displayed here. Also, any uh, remarks or warnings from some brief, like this flight plan exceeded the air, uh, aircraft range. I have done this purposely, so you can see this uh, notice. Also here, uh, this notice from some brief, the payload cargo limited by the maximum takeoff weight. Maximum takeoff. So this is only the warning. If there are no warning in uh, layout number two, this uh, in yellow will not be displayed. So we will go to the flight plan route. Here you will see a number like now two one zero nine. This this is the cycle number. The cycle number of uh, the data. If you have updated. It, it will be 2109. This is the last cycle of the navigational data, the air AC. So here we will departure Bahrain, runway 30 right. The estimated en route time is 9 hours 28 minutes. And here the route, complete route. And here the approach. Heathrow Airport runway two seven right, and if you choose uh, and if you choose uh, an alternate uh, airport in your flight plan, you will find it here with the information alternate uh, identifier flight level, uh, the distance one sixty nautical mile from Heathrow. And the estimated en route time, 37 minutes. This is the whole route. Now, the last section is the meter. Meter you will find in a departure, the arrival meter, and the alternate meter if you chose an alternate airport. So, go, so let's go back and uh, see the default layout, which is layout one. We click it, it will open automatically. Now the buttons, you understand about them, the font scale and the first line, I have, uh, it's the same, same thing. Also, these, most of the information are the same, like this is your uh, aircraft registration. This is the date uh, of your departure. This is the 
airport ICOs, aircraft ICO, and aircraft here will be registration and like that. Here the air cycle, the air cycle number of uh, the navigational data, your ATC uh, call sign, the flight, uh, the flight date. And we have the airport, the airport's name, airport identifiers, and the times. Cruise system, as we talked about, is the speed profile, cruise flight level. And the thing that I have added is the cruise through airspeed, air distance from airport to airport in nautical miles, the great cycle distance between the two airports and nautical miles also the average wind average wind uh, the average wind of the trip here the average uh, fuel flow for the trip in kilograms if it uh, if you chose your unit uh, as pounds as will be displayed in pounds as here uh, is displayed 351 kilograms here you will find if you chose if you choose uh, if you chose in your uh, flight uh, plan an alternate uh, airport you will find it here with the flight uh, flight level steps as after uh, the f uh, your airport you will climb to forty thousand and here the warnings the dispatch remarks are displayed here the alternate uh, information. Uh, the airport information runway uh, the alternate report runway a track 96 uh, the heading the track is the heading 96 the distance and nautical mile flight level 17,000 feet time uh, the time about 37 minutes fuel fuel that are needed for uh, the alternate route and this is the route via from to and we go here to the our flight plan our first airport runway route our route for route and the arrival airport and the runway the next section is the planned fuel the trip the contingency Ever you chose uh, five percent or fifteen minute contingency, it will be displayed here with the uh, how much fuel and the time. Uh, alternate fuel, winners, uh, minimum takeoff fuel. The most what we need of this is the block fuel, which is two thousand four hundred twenty eight kilograms. If you chose. If you choose, if you did choose your uh, unit with pounds, this will be displayed with pounds. The next section is the times. The out, off, on, in. The out uh, means uh, the taxi off blocks, the first one. The second one is the takeoff. Here are the estimated, here are the scheduled and uh, the off the off uh, is actual estimated time and actual time and the on time when you are on the airport have arrived to that area you are on the airport estimated and scheduled and the end time estimated and schedule also your uh, block uh, block time block time now the second section is the weights the weights uh, the payload zero fuel weight takeoff weight landing weight estimated max actual and you can type yours down you can type it is not the same Figure you can type it here if you want. Just uh, as something for you. This will not be saved. And in the last section here we have the weather. 
in uh, this default layout number one, uh, also the TAF will be split. The TAF is different by the meter. Meter change sometimes by the hour, but the TAF changes every 24 hours. So the TAF meter here, FT, will display the hour for the next 24 hours. So we have the departure airport meter and path, the destination airport meter and path, and the destination, the destination alternates uh, airport identifier meter and path. And that's it. And I hope you will enjoy the new version. And thank you very much for listening.